They hired me to delete a couple of data packages from the server, which triggered a pair of alarms and... What the hell? Bar's closed, miss. That's not a drunk person, Brandius. That's an android. What's up, folks? The future is bleak. And, well, sometimes you need to just find somewhere where you can go and have a drink. And thankfully, the guys at Deconstruct Team and Devolver Digital have set up that place just for us. Yes, this is a new indie pixel art. Point and click adventure is probably the best description. I can assume, because I am going into this one blind, that this is the Red Strings Club. As I said, coming to us from Deconstruct Team, whose previous project was Gods Will Be Watching, which was a very interesting take on point and click, because it was all kind of very single screen. You had to kind of manage a group of people, and it was very, very bleak. So I'm expecting the same from this. I'm going into it blind, and hey, Donovan, are you listening? You don't need to stop every three sentences to ask if I'm listening. Of course I'm listening. I'm a bartender. So that girl from Proxima, Vega, turns out she was just using me to smoke out the mole in the city police. Did you sleep with her? Nope, she's not into guys. Anyway, I almost got arrested, but I managed to hack my way out of the bot patrol car. See, self-driving cars are the future. One day you're gonna end up dead or worse if you keep doing business with those Proxima scoundrels. We live in a city ruled by corporations. If I didn't associate with scoundrels, I'd be out of work in no time. So yeah, the premise for this game, what I can assume is it is cyberpunk future. Uh, we are essentially, well, this hacker, this guy Brandius, um, who's taking on the corporation Supercontinent Limited. Now, that name may ring a bell with a few people because, like Gods Will Be Watching, Deconstruct Team have based this off a Game Jam title they did. So back in 2016, I think Ludum Dare, one of their Game Jams, uh, they did a very short prototype called Supercontinent Limited. And we played as this hacker, basically ringing people, trying to wheedle out information about them. So I think this is going along the same routes. Um, what I read on the this Steam description, it still has that uh, one gameplay element in it. It's going to be very narrative focused. I, I, I'm already assuming that, but there are gameplay elements. There's that hacking, well, I say hacking mini game. There's... Uh, a game where we have to pour the right drink for somebody based on their psychology. So there's like a mini bar drink mixing game. And there's also, what was it, a genetic pottery where we have to create implants for somebody using like a pottery wheel. It's very bizarre. Very, it's, this is very much a Devolver game. We know they like picking weird indie games to pick up and put out. And... Like I said, De uh, Deconstruct Team, Gods Will Be Watching was very bleak. It had this kind of futuristic uh, element to it. So, I mean, we, we were, you know, like a space pilot and his crew, and we get crashed on a planet. We have to have, like, hostage situation, all this kind of stuff. But this one is very neo-noir, I'd say. But anyway, so basically, today sucked. Why don't you hit me up with something? All right, what do you feel like? Bourbon? Vodka? Tequila? Surprise me. Okay, let me see what we've got here. All right, let's prepare a drink for Brandius. Okay, so this, like I said, is one of the gameplay elements. What should we aim for? Do you see any interesting soul nodes, Newman? Newman? Oh, last muse uh, must have expired already. Let's see if I can can't channel a new one. Ahem. 
harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon me your graces. Weave the red strings and guide my hand to tune into buried emotion. That should do it. So the bartender actually summons spirits to actually help him pick a drink. This is already being weird and bizarre and exactly what I was after. Now, if you can hear me, try to pick up a bottle and move it around. Well, that's easy enough. One click to grab, another to drop. Okay. You can click and drag while holding a bottle to pour its contents. Okay. So we can't... Oh, oh right. So hold, holding the mouse button will move it around and tilt it. Nice, I'm feeling it already. Now try visualize our customer's soul. There you go. Now focus. At the Red Strings Club, we don't just serve alcohol. We use spirits to tune into a customer's emotions. It's about matching their vibes and allowing them to savor, mourn, or contemplate their soul's fundamental sentiments. Try to read into Brandius' soul. These are the buried stats he's carrying right now. The soul nodes. Yeah, jazz, soul. Right, okay, so pride, anxiety, regret. Hover the cursor over them to read the brief description. Or is that just the regret is the brief de description? Now let's bring out those dormant emotions. So he's anxious, prideful, and regretful. How do we do this? Whatever you pour into the, this glass will reflect the soul's disc. Each spirit has a different effect. Up, down, left, or right. Make the soul disc match uh, the soul node. Uh, that's how to, you make a drink in red string. Feel free to experiment until you get the hang of it. So do we have to make them all point up? Is that what it's telling us? If you ever get lost, you can check the ingredients in your notebook. Okay, this is what I want to know. Which ones bring out the different emotions? Alexander's high roll of bourbon uh, with the richest, highest rye count in o of... Oh, I thought that said only any bourbon on the market. The careful constructed spice profile of this spirit will make an intense impression on your tongue before its smooth finish exalts your very soul into rarely met heights. Uh, we've got deep down vodka, a slightly sweet and grainy palette of ultra premium vodka manages to be soft yet spellbinding at every level. So do these actually tell us objectives? Find a supply of red secret and blue whisper. Ooh. So these must be other liquors we can actually find and that's something we've got to do. Fax intel. The torturer is the grandson of a fallen ma fallen mafia boss, really? Rumors say he uses very unconventional methods. Proximia uh, will be attending the New Year's City Cup Summit too. Supercontinent, like I said, Supercontinent Limited was the prototype and I think they constitute the big bad in this game. Supercontinent will be pre presenting something revolutionary, Akara. Guy named Ghost has dealt with Red Secret in the past. Well, I mean, that was one of these things. So we're going to have to find a, a guy named Ghost. So there's our vodka and bourbon. Absinthe is going to be the green one and the yellow one's going to be our tequila, isn't it? That's clearly our vodka. Okay, how do we exit out? Can we just... There we go. All I can think is we've we've got to get the arrow to point it up. So let's try a bit of vodka. Come on, come on. Oh no. Oh yeah, put, vodka pushes it down. So okay. Do we want him to be prideful, ang anxious, or regretful, or do we just need to have it in the middle? Let's have a drop of absinthe in there. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, no, that's pushing it across to there. Uh, 
Drop a bourbon. Go on. Ooh. Don't spill it. Come on. This is expensive stuff. So, we know the vodka pushes down. The absinthe goes left. This goes up. The bourbon goes up. So, the tequila should go right. This is how, how it's supposed to work. Do we do it like that? Is it just supposed to be stay in the middle or do we have to focus one in particular? <laughs> That's how one way to get rid of a drink. So do we have to tap into his pride? Let's go regret. So we want to go vodka and tequila really. Oh, too much. We need to have a little bit of bourbon there. One, pour, pour, pour. There we go. That's enough. Just a splash. And in comes the tequila. Tequila, it make me happy. That's as much as we're doing. Okay, fair enough. Oh, no, 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 don't spill it. Don't spill it. Right. Let's, let's do the tequila again. Hang a second. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh. Go on. It's been a while since I've worked in a bar, all right? Right, don't press and hold. Just click. Right, let's serve that. No, don't cl click and hold. How do you serve his drink? I, I don't know how this is supposed to work. Do we have to purposely line it up? There we go. Right, let's, let's just make this easy then. Bourbon goes all the way up. Go on. There you go. You can nail a drink by adding the right amount of ice to it. Ah, okay, so maybe we didn't have enough ice. Okay, now now we need to go a little to the left. Come on. Come on. Small drop. They, there we go. Serve, yes. Okay, so we've w figured out how, you know, it's taken us 10 minutes or so to figure out how to serve a drink, but... What took you so long? I was experimenting, okay? Don't, you know, come on, le leave off. Do doing the muse casting thing again. Aha, yeah. I lost my mojo and I wanted to make a drink worthy of your refined palate. Harvester of sensations, I beg of you, bestow upon my friend some drunkenness. Laughed after you drink it. You know, I always hit the spot. I know, I know. Let's see which spot you're hitting tonight. Ah, that felt good. Do you like it? Uh, a glass of pride? Yeah, well, we know, know that. It was the easiest one to serve. Uh, you serve glass of pride. Okay, so it looks like there's almost a, a like a progression tree or something. Saying that, you know, all the different dots and the fact that we're probably going to go up and down, up and down, up and down. Just something about it makes me think about the, the map in uh, FTL. Can we click out now? There we go. You like it? You bet. So refreshing. I already forgot about that droid cop beating me down. Also, I should mention that in addition to a ride in the uh, a bot patrol car, I got out of this job with a beautiful amount of Bitcoin. Oh yeah, how's that? Well, let's say the Vega turning me into a into the police wasn't so, so uncalled for. <laughs> 
I hate when my employers aren't entirely clear about what they're using me for. So since it all smelled a bit fishy, I let Centura know I would be hacking the North District traffic mainframe tonight. They hired me to delete a couple of data packages from the server, which triggered a pair of alarms and... What the hell? Bar's closed, miss. That's not a drunk person, Brandius. That's an android. Oh, I thought it was an implant fangirl. Get her up and let's see what uh, we got here, would you? Right away, sir. Hello. Who are you? One, eight, four. 184, ringing any bells, Donny? Hmm. It's in pretty bad shape, but I believe this is an Akara android from Supercontinent Limited. They still haven't seen the light of day, according to what I've heard. They've only been put to use internally at Supercontinent. And what the hell is it doing here? Beats me. Rumors say. This is the finest android capable of making ethical decisions, examining every single factor in play in the life of any subject. Minding emotion, status, social impact, economic repercussions, legal risks. How come you're so knowledgeable on this so uh, topic? How come you've never told me about this? That's what we information brokers do, amigo. Share the trivial, sell the revel relevant, even. Revenant? No. <laughs> but we're supposed to be a team. Exactly, I got your back. Knowing too much can compromise your safety in the field. What if someone tries to torture the info out of you? Well, they'll just kill me since I won't have any leverage. Human improvement compromised. Oh. Okay, uh, that was creepy enough. I'm going in. Whoa. Whoa, hold on a second. We're, you're going to connect your neural drive to this f fireworks factory? Yeah, don't worry about it. I won't go very deep. Just want to check the memory banks. You want to know how this Akara got here, don't you? Okay, but don't be reckless. It's okay. Oh. And you can pay me later for the info I get. Pay you? But we're a team! It's for your own good, sweet cheeks. Hello, world. Greetings, Zakaro 184 Welcome to the job. Supercontinent super Limited Clinic Division H Plus Core. Uh... I'm presuming H plus is human plus. He is doing upgrades. Expect you to be a, an excellent human upgrade crafter. Please familiarize yourself with your work zone until you're comfortable. Let me know when you're ready to accept requests. Yes, master. Thank you. I, I'm just going to do the robot voice. It seems the easiest one to try and do. Okay. Let's go uh, do the uh, ghost thing and um, and uh, craft some pr pottery. This is the pottery disc. Uh, with it, you will shape human crafted limbs and organs for the clients. Go on then. There is no selected blueprint. I presume you have to go to one of these then. Please use the transhumanist wiki to select which implant you want to craft next. Uh, this is the official H core uh, transhumanist wiki. Right, fine. With it, you can study the different upgrades and select one to craft at the pottery desk. Uh, so, like pottery, we, it's essentially different vases and that we're going to make. Uh, increase the online social network charisma. Highly enhances the persuasion skills. Filters online content to block any type of negative stimuli. That seems quite a complicated one. It's got bits chiseled out of it. Dramatically increases your sex appeal. Eliminates the need for social acceptance. Nullifies ambition and thirst for power. 
shuts your social conscience down. Okay, these look like they're getting progressively more difficult. So this is the easiest one. Should we just do the easy one first? It seems like a very basic shape. This is uh, a block biomatter. You can use it to lathe uh, this lathe to turn into uh, a useful upgrade. To so spin the lathe, just click repeatedly. Okay. When the lathe gains enough speed, use your right hand to shape the biomatter. So am I left clicking? So far it's only been point and click, so I presume it's left clicking. Press the buttons on the device to... Uh, on the, your right to pro pick a proper tool, S select the blueprint, you choose, yes, rewind. Okay, so there is a undo mistakes button. This will restore the biomatter to an uh, its earliest state, so basically turns it into a blank state, slate again. Tune into some focus enhancing music tracks. Submit a finished piece or just exit the lathe. Feel free to experiment. Remember, click repeatedly to spin the lathe. Move your right hand to shape the biomatter. Uh, we're expecting great products from you, Akara184. Okay. I'm spinning. Nope, nope, nope. Wow, that was quick. That's, yeah, that's undo. Sorry. Can we undo? I thought there was an undo button. No, no, undo, undo, undo. Why does the undo not work? Also, we're not changing. Okay, I'm letting the thing spin down. I'm gonna change the music. All oh, right, we need we need to push up. Okay, right, let's. There we go. That's it. Done. Right. Yes, that's what we want. Let's spin up. That's what we want. We want. There you go. Right. And this one then. Spin up. There we go. That's what we wanted, wasn't it? Yeah. Right, let's accept that then. Product complete the Enchantress. Well done! Should we try something a little more difficult then now? Uh, let's, let's try and enhance our sex appeal. There we go. So we want to... It looks like it's, again, this one. Uh, let's get up to speed. There you go. They're, right, they're all in place. Let's uh, get up to speed again. I just want to do the top bit. There you go. Right. Let's get the chisel. Right, that's that bit done. Oh, there we go. Right. And... Oh, there we go. So the little pink strips, are they good? I'm, I'm going to accept that. Hmm, doesn't look very useful. Are you sure the hollow check was completely green? Ah, so it does have to be completely green. Right. Let's try that again then. Right, well, we'll start off with the right tool. Always have the right tool for the job. No, that, that's a chisel. Nope. The, uh, it's, it's almost Surgeon Simulator-esque. Uh, the controls are a little loose. Right, let's... Is it because there needs to be... Maybe maybe we go with the round one then. 
Okay. Now we go with the angle. Right, okay, and then we do that. Right, now we should be able to just use the straight chisel. Let's get it up to speed. Right, that's completely green there. Up to speed again. Right, that's up to... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. There you go, right. And... There we go. Right. Yep, that's completely green. I'm accepting that one. Go on. Production complete, the prince. Well done. Can I exit then now? We've we've tried a two, one or two. I don't think we need to do every single one. This is the operating theatre. Here you'll receive our clients and you'll install their necessary upgrades. Are you ready to get started? Uh, yeah, send them in. Perfect. First one is coming. Right. What do you want, dude? Uh, you ready for your operation? Clients file. No matter what I do, I can't raise my uh, follow account. Please help me. So, we need to do something. Uh, increase their social... Follow up. Okay, once what, they're done, right. Online social network charisma. Yeah, so that we just need to do an enchantress already in stock. Let's grab that then. Oh, is it because we've already made one? Uh, you ready to operate? Install modules. There we go. There you go. Just shove that in your gut and you're fine. Now the client will be more popular on, on the internet. Uh, but will that make them happier? I don't know. Are you ready for your operation? What do you want? I need to get more investors for my several startups. My ideas are great, but I can't talk enough. Can't talk enough people into face financing them. Okay. What's that going to require then? Persuasion techniques. So it looks like we're going to have to do one of each of these. Right. Well, that's definitely a curvy bit, isn't it? Let's do the curvy bit. Right. And grab the pointy bit. Right, that's that bit. And, oh, 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 we're gonna have to restart. Ah, okay. Well, we can move it back a little bit. That's okay. That's handy. Ready? Get in line. Eye it up. Okay. Why can't we uh, do a narrow one of those? Do we? Oh, ah, no. That's too much. Okay, get it up to speed. Maybe we need to use the slopey one. Let's try the slopey one there, in the the bottom bit. No, that's no, 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 no. Can we have? There we go. Right. See how are we supposed to get a, a flat edge there? It seems odd. Right. Maybe just use the chisel. No, the chisel. There you go. Then use the point. See if that will mean we can actually do this. There we go. That's how we're supposed to do it then. Right. There we go. Come on, get it up to speed. Right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Right. Now we have that. And now we can have... Now we can have... 
have the chisel. Thank you. Right, and... Right, that's good. Quick before we screw it up. Uh, production complete, the visor. Well done. Right, well, are well, you going to go shove that in your gut? Uh, install module. No. No, it wasn't the prince, it was the visor. There you go. Persuasion techniques, that's what you need. Persuasion is the great key to seduce the powerful. Although the greatest, uh, great power can lead to bigger ambitions. I hope he'll be okay. Right, what are you after? I'm so sick of hateful speech on the internet, I fear I won't be able to write any more. I need my inspiration back. So this is the one that black blocks out negative one. What was it? He filters online content to block out any negative stimuli. Yeah. Right. Getting up to speed. Right, that's that bit done. Can I curve the bottom a little? Right, okay. We should be able to do it with... Nope. There we go. Ready. And probably that one will do it completely. Oh, 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 oh. come on, come on. Tiny touch more. There we go. Right. I'm going to use the chisel just to take out a little chunk before using that. And right. Can we do this in one? There we go. Right. We're good. There we go. The godmother. Well done. So it takes a lot longer than you'd think to actually do them. Uh, there's our godmother. Living is easy with eyes closed. Misunderstanding all you see. Uh, are you ready for your operation? What are you after? Cosplayer. No matter what I do, I can't raise my follow account. Well, my follow account went wild, but the amount of haters I've gathered is unbearable. So we need, are we still needing to filter out then? Uh, online content, so it's not that, it's the power that shuts down social conscience. So... Are we wanting to filter out or do we want to eliminate the need for social acceptance? Uh, I'd say the social acceptance really then as opposed to the negatives. It's one or the other. I mean... Both could potentially work? Let, let's do it. I mean, it's a new one. We've got to try and design it. Let's see if we can pull it off. Right. Get her up to speed. Right. That's that bit done. Can we shape this a little. There we go. Uh, let's get the chisel out. No, the chisel! Thank you. And, right, that's that one. Get it. Spin it up a little. Go on. Go on. I just need to chisel out the tiniest bit. There you go, right. Right, now let's just use 
This one. There we go. No, no, no. What the hell are you doing? There you go. Right. Uh, no, why is, why is the mouse appear then? Right, maximum speed. There we go. Right, it looks like we need to chisel a little more of the, the square bit out. We should be able to... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's a rewind. That's a rewind. Oh, no, no. Too much. Too much. It's so floaty to, uh, controls. Oh, oh, actually. Okay, fine. Right, we'll... Right, I'm going to chisel... This one seems to be a little more precise. We should be able to then use the triangle one. So there seems to be multiple triangles. There's like a really curvy triangle one, isn't there? There we go. That's that. That's all green. Right, quick, accept it before. There we go. Let's see if this does actually work for them. It was the, the last one we did. The temple. There we go. Freed them from their dull craving. Well done. Are you ready? What? What? What's your follow up? Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. I managed to get six digits in investments. Uh, but if I want all my startups to survive, I'll need even more. Keep it rolling. Uh, do we need to now quell their ambition? Is that it? Uh, sex appeal, social acceptance. Nullifies, yeah. So this is probably the one we want to go for. Let's just do a little bit of shaping. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to use the chisel. No, no, the chisel. There you go. Right, and there's a little bit of a dent there, isn't there? Just a little, just a little bit. Let me get that bit. No, no, no. Get it up to speed completely. Ah! No, 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 the cat. The, the mouse slipped. There we go. Right. Ah! No. Jeez, this is so float. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. There you go. Right. Okay. No, no, get, spin, spin, right. Gently, gently, gently. Why does it keep retracting? Right, don't do any more there, but we can do the bottom bit. Right, and I want to dig in there. Dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. Right. Now we should be able to use triangle. Come on. We do the little bit at the top as well. Is that going to be enough? Ah! It threw me. I, suddenly I saw the, the arrow appear and I don't know what was going on. This is... Worse than Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> it, where's that flatter? There, yeah, that one. Let's see if we, this one is any better. What again? Again, it seems to be go too close to the top, and all of a sudden, it freaks out. There we go. No, that one, right. Get it up to speed. And 
Oh, 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 can we do completely? Go on, go on. No, 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 no. Again, look, it seemed to... As long as the mouse cursor doesn't appear. There we go. Right, fine. Quick, do it before it <laughs> changes its mind. Okay, we've got to give him the froggy. Well done. Yeah, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, install the frog. There you go. You will no longer th lust for power. Free from the blindfold of greed, he may start seeing for the first time in his life. So what's your follow-up? Talk about Irony. Now I found a... S I s now I found I sp safe space. Yeah, the, the developers are Spanish, so English not first language. I've lost touch with reality. I can't properly criticize it anymore. I need different solution. He needs some way to criticize. Uh, Hans's persuasion. Social acceptance. Social conscience? Do we want to do the social conscience? It's the last one we haven't made. I, I, admittedly, I thought I would just need to use the last mod, you know, when we did our first two test ones. What was it, the sexual appeal one? But no, that's not really going to help in this situation, I don't think. Though, who doesn't want to be sexually appealing? Right. We chisel out a bit at the bottom as well. There you go. Right. Is that going to help? No, 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 no. Get, get some speed going. Again! I, I see... It seems to slip too close to the top and then it will suddenly retract. Well, that, no, too much. Okay, fine. We'll do the bottom bit in a minute. Is that too much? Uh... Can we... Do that tiny bit at the bottom. Why why wasn't it going any further left? There you go. Right, that's what we want. Let's Yeah, the the chisel. We can do chiseling. Right, that's chiseled. Right, that's chiseled. Let's do a little bit just here and maybe we can just use uh, that so there's like a little bit of a divot isn't there uh, and now d maybe we can just use the, the chisel for that tiny bit at the top let's see there we go yeah I'm going to leave it as that right is the social conscious uh, enough for it? Let's give him the husk. Well done. Yep, yeah, go on. It, ha, how much space has he got in his gut for these augments? That's an excellent job, Akara184. Thank you, Master. Get ready for a new batch of clients. In this new batch, you'll have some... Uh, customers tagged as Supercontinent Limited Executives. When a client matching that profile comes, you install whatever they ask for. We're in no position to judge our owners. Understood. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to do the voice. Understood. You can go over the client file inbox if you want. Let me know when you're ready to operate. So, have they got an inbox or do we just click? Is there new ones available? Godmother, Prince, Temple, Frog, Husk. Nope, nothing new. Oh, there we go. Displays the data from the client queue. With it, you can track uh, client's progress and post-operative satisfaction. Okay, I want to actually see 
the the ones we did. Plus, I deleted all my social. Now I'm free. Uh, until I got rid of the obsession. Uh, I didn't realize best thing in life's are free. Uh, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I sold my computer and went to live next to a lake. I couldn't be happier. I have cut ties with this rotten society. Life is too precious. Thank you. Okay, so they were all satisfied customers. Good. So the incomings. Uh, fortune teller. The inhabitants of the city stop believing in the power of their souls. Please lend me a way to open their minds. Uh, crucial merger to negotiate. Hit me with something powerful. I've been dealing with a strong anxiety crisis lately due to our recent company plans. I need to get hold of myself. It's time. Activate mirror neuron algorithm inhibitor. What the hell's that? Fortune teller, stop believing in me. So, the charisma? Persuasion skills? Probably persuasion skills. Uh, advice. It's got to be persuasion skills, doesn't it? Yep. Send them in. First one's coming. Is this our fortune teller then? Check client file. Yeah. Inhibits. Uh... So we want to give them the sex appeal. No. Persuasion skills. Did that work? Holy shit. Are we done? What? Are we done from Proxima? Proxima? Whatever. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it looks like she infiltrated one of the supercontinent labs uh, implant clinics. One in which our cute robot friend here worked. Oh, of course, it makes sense. Do I have to pay for this info or are you going to just tell me? Yeah, yeah, don't be such a crybaby. Like I told you, Akara androids are a secret project from supercontinent. They're built with a certain degree of conscience that allows them to advise us humans on optimal life decisions with our happiness in mind. I see. The thing is that Proxima managed to purloin the Akara for themselves. What the hell's purloin mean? That, I've never come across that word in my life and have been tampering with their conscience bits. I guess we're about to discover what uh, they got out of it and what they're planning to, on doing with it. Oh, woohoo, the plot thickens. Let's keep digging. Please go back to the operation belt so I can help you. If you don't go back... Oh, sorry. If you don't go back, I can't make you happy. Don't worry, I'm in the process of making myself happy. Really? She on the internet uh, fapping away? No. Uh, why are you doing this? Why? Mm, let's see. How much do you know about yourself? I am Akara184. My purpose is to make ha humans happy. So, th the robot voice I'm doing is somewhere between the turrets from Portal and I don't know what. <laughs> it's not quite uh, GLaDOS. That's a way to put it? Yes! You are the first android capable of making ethical decisions that could qualify you as sentient, you know. The people I work with, they think you're wonderful. I agree with them. We believe in your potential and in your opinion. Supercontinent is cheating by limiting your options. Like they're making you choose the lesser evil, you know. What are the other options? We're getting right to it. Consider this an experiment for the sake of society. I'm updating your implant database with a very particular set of choices. I know it's a bit ironic to remove your previous options, but let's say they have at least 183 other Akaras to do their dirty work. We want to see how you'd do in a more revolutionary setting. Will that make you happy? More than anything. 
Oh, also, Proxima hacked into the scheduled servers of H-Core and appointed several supercontinent limited executives to come after me. So I can have fun with your bosses. Oh, shit. What now? Proxima sent Adriana to the implant clinic to substitute the regular implants with some disruptive human upgrades. Or should I say downgrades? I told you, Proxima is plain evil. But they scheduled some of the so supercontinent top brass to this, that specific clinic. So allow me to keep root rooting them out. Rooting for them, hey? Oh god. Proxima also hacked the overseer system, so... If you can feel worry in any form, don't sweat it. What we're doing here is totally under the radar. Can I go back to work? Yes, please. I'm gonna, gonna be monitoring our rogue implants. I thought I might as well gather some intel from the execs you wire. And uh, if you feel that you want to talk to about something, I'll be curled up here. Thank you. So we can actually interact with her? What's up? Is what we're doing illegal? What do you expect from me? Why do you deem me sentient? Go on then. Why do you deem me sentient? That you even ask the question only further proves my point. I'd say you're the most advanced artificial mind mankind's ever created. So advanced it blurs the meaning of the term artificial. If you can operate at the same levels as us, doesn't that make us artificial in the same way too? As Wikipedia says, I, I like how they're using Wikipedia in the future as the bastion of human information. There we go. Sentience is the ability of any entity to have subjective perce perceptual experiences. How do you know I do have the, that kind of subjectivity? You excel in every area of what we humans call consciousness. Intelligence, we're having a smart conversation, aren't we? Sapience, you're fucking specialized in judgment, so there you go. Self-awareness, you're pretty interested in knowing more about yourself. Creativity, come on, you craft implants on a lathe. Intentionality, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but I am sure you have as much of that as I do too. So basically, to judge happiness, you have to understand its causes, its causes, its causes, its causes and its consequences. To be able to feel, I'm not sure if I feel. Come with me after we're done here and I'll prove it to you. Okay, I want to see what the downgrades are. The punk introduces aversion to corporations and rejection of authority. Hippie, highly and says your empathy and magnifies his... I'm, I'm struggling to... Pull. I've been going for about an hour now. Uh, magnifies compassion. Renders the user immune to implant effects. Okay, so that would be a way to nullify everything. Induces aversion to corporations. Okay, so it is just three. So what are you? You are... Well, we don't want to nullify... So what is it? I suppose the big merger, the punk would make do that. So I mean, what was the next person along incoming? Cru crucial merger. Uh, needs to get hold of myself. So that would qualify as get hold of myself. Magnifies compassion. Yeah, possibly. And then the, the, it was like that one mystery job, wasn't it? It's time. Activate mirror neuron. Okay, yes, that would neutralize. Yeah, so we basically just do these in order then. Right. So there's lots of divots in this one. Right, let's just go with... No, we want pointy one. Pointy, pointy, there we go. Spin her up. Right. 
That should be good. That's actually, we can do this bit as well. Yep. Okay. We should only need the chisel now, shouldn't we? No, not round. Not that one. There you go, chisel. Don't freak out. We're right at the top of the, the screen. There you go, right. That's that bit done. And that's that bit. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. Right. Oh, 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 it's still counting it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, right. Let's just slice out a chunk here. And the bit at the bottom. This is the easiest bit. There we go. Right. There we go. Done. Completely green. Quick capture it before it goes. There we go. There you go. You're a punk. You're a lover. Yeah, let's install our punk. We installed punk and version to corporations in Ferguson. So this one we give the empathy to. Oh, that, that was good. You just made one of the most influential people in this city despise his own philosophy. Can't wait to discover how this changes our town. Well done. So like I said, Anxiety, late, yes. Let's make them empathetic, then. Right. As long as we can do kind of the... the kind of the bold bit at the top. This is just all chiseled down here, isn't it? So, let's get... No, no, let's get that... That one. Thank you. Spinner up. Right. Come on. That's enough, yeah? Looks like it. We just do a tiny little divot bit there. Yep. Now. Oh, can we? I wonder if we can just do a tiny bit more just to try and get that bit. I don't know whether we need, need to use the chisel. Okay, let's use that for this top bit. Because it seems to be a slightly different angle. Come on, come on. Right. Come on. Get a bit more speed going. Come on, come on. We can do this. There we go. Right, that'll do. Yeah, that's close enough. I think we can just do this with the chisel then now. Yeah. So we can probably just scrape away a bit. Yeah. And now all we need to do is just do all of this. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Tiny red line. There you go. Got rid of the red line. So all we need now is just to cut all this out. There you go. That works for me. There we go. There we go. Production complete. The hippie. Well done. Right. Let's go install. Yep. We installed the hippie into compassion magnifier into Seftis. Exactly what they demanded. She happens to be having a second thoughts about whether they, uh, what they were doing is right. This is definitely going to tip the balance to our side. Hope this doesn't totally wreck her or, well, can, uh, what do I care about? Some corporate pig. In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that doesn't really seem ethical. Well, Akara... That's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. How can breaking the rules lead to a better world? The question is, who defined the rules in the first place? To properly answer that question, I need to delve deeper into the meaning and implication of rules. Then I'll be able to determine who should be. This can't be possible. If you ever get the chance, you should t try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has tried 
to pull yet. Supercontinent is planning to transform us all transform us all into a pile of smiling brainless dolls. The project goes by the name of Social Psych Welfare. It involves every human being with implants in them. No shit. They've been slashing the prices of implants over the last few years. I read here that currently more than 59% of the population wears some kind of upgrade. But they plan to expand the program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of mirror neuro neuron algorithm. That's... what's that? They plan to execute this on... what? But this is... Who makes the rules? Akira 184, commitment compromised. Dismissing unit. Gonna dismiss us with a bullet. Yeah. Fuck. What happened? I got to know and feel how Akaro here got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic's security system. Along with Adrian. Ar Aridan? Aradni? I don't know. Shame, I like that girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. But we do live in tents. Oh no. Are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ariane discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. From Supercontinent Limited. What a surprise. Shut up, I mean fucked up even for a su corporation. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called social psyche welfare. And it will manipulate implant wearers so it allows me to take this personally. Of course, because he, he is a hacker with uh, a thing jacked into his head. So, yeah, I'm guessing he's a target. It does sound fucked up, even for a corporation. Are you sure about this? Donovan, they killed Aridan just for reading it out loud. Okay, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before you try to pull some crazy stunt. Don't want you joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromised. Oh, that makes sense now. What do we do with them? Hmm. Akara is an android specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patched up and ha I have an idea. Welcome to the Red Strings Club. And I thought it was uh, the crazy bastard. There's a fine line between crazy bastard like you and genius like me. I don't blame you for not being able to see the difference. Whatever, let's go over the plan. We have to find a way to infiltrate Supercontinent Limited's offices. Then I'll hack their operation down. Bam! That's like the last stage of the plan, man. First, we have to know if all this poses a real threat. Sorry, I missed that one. Maybe there's even a way to sabotage it without having to send you in. It's a, it's a real fucking threat, Donovan. We don't know how much time we have left until they turn it, me into a brainless doll. Okay, how about this? You start securing an infiltration method. Talk with the your terrorist friends and their ilk. Do your thing. I'll take a couple of days at least. It'll take a couple of days at least. In the meantime, I'll gather some intel and make sure we avoid what trouble we can. My investigation will determine what course of action is needed. But then, and only then, we'll decide if you go in there. You hear me? If this happens to be the apocalyptic, this happens to be as apocalyptic as you predict, I'll back you up with everything I have. You'll go in a lot more prepared this way, don't you think? On the other hand, if we find this isn't such a big deal, you call off your, the operation. We pay your hacker friends for the trouble, for the trouble, and that's it. All right, Donovan. Okay. A much wiser way to proceed. No. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're right. Thanks, Donovan. You're very welcome, handsome. A client is approaching the club. Whoa. How do you know? I'm accessing footage from all recording devices in proximity of the club in real time to better help Donovan. You can do that? I told you they'd make a great aid. 
Now go, I know who's coming. I called a consultant engineer who was recently hired by Supercontinent to work on some new bio bionics firmware. I've worked with her in the past and my instincts tell me she's got something to do with all this. You sure pull the red strings quick. Time is of the essence. Don't want my favorite crazy bastard to turn into a brainless doll. Haha. <laughs> Goodbye genius, I'll keep you posted. All right, Akara, remember, don't interact with the clients unless necessary. Welcome them to the club uh, and thank them when they leave. Your empathy superpowers make you aware of something you want to share with me. Wait until we're alone in the club. Got me? Understood. So, I've been going for about an hour. This seems like probably a good place to end it. You, we can guess what we're going to have to do next. We, as the bartender, we're going to have to mix this woman a drink, loosen her up and actually get some information out of her. And then eventually we will break into Supercontinent's offices. As it goes, I'm, I'm reasonably impressed with it. Some of the, the kind of the, the mini game thing is, a well, especially the, the pottery thing is a little finickety. Um... I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to doing the phone conversation stuff. Because I did play the prototype and it was reasonably interesting how you did it. You basically imitated different people. So you like ring up the receptionist and say you're like a delivery driver and you've got a package for her boss to try and get the location of the boss. And then you'd copy the receptionist's voice and ring the boss and say, oh, uh you're here you basically just go up a through like a route of finding out who knows where a certain person is and you try and get in contact with them get their phone number or their home phone number there that kind of idea i'm presuming they're going to do something very similar with this kind of final version but we we didn't get to check that out but i like the narrative uh it, it is I, I wouldn't say it's as bleak as Gods Will Be Watching. We've not had to torture anybody, or actually decide who gets tortured. Uh, nobody's starving to death around a campfire and all that kind of thing. But it is pretty dark, um, and I'm intrigued. I am going to be playing more. If you guys want to see that, do let me know. You can reach us on the socials over at the Killer Bits. And I may actually stream some of this over on Twitch. So if you can want to follow us over there, we're twitch.tv forward slash the killer bits. And like I said, I'm intrigued. I don't know just how I feel about it after an hour. It's an interesting story. As I said, the kind of the controls, especially on the the lay thing, seem a little floaty. It's it's difficult. I'm glad there's no time limit on actually creating the mods. Because that would be a pain in the butt. But thankfully there isn't. And like I said, I'm intrigued. But I don't know if I'm hooked as of yet. But why don't you guys let us know what you think in the comments below. And like I said, if you do want to see more, do get in touch. And if you're new here, of course, you can hit that subscribe button. To find more first impressions, let's plays and all that good stuff we have here on the channel. And then until next time, folks. I will see you down the bar at the Red Strings Club. All right, catch you later. Bye.